Hey guys, Warm Racer Eye here, back with another jQuery tutorial. Today's lesson, I'm going to show you how we can add some hint text to your web forms uh, using jQuery. You say, what's hint text? Well, let me just show you what we're going to make. So we've just got a uh, standard HTML form, nothing special. We've got this, this hint text in here. When you click on it, it disappears. And when you click off of it, or if you blur the field, it comes back if you haven't entered anything. You see this a lot on, on a lot of different websites. Uh, instead of using maybe a label here on top to say your name goes in this area, they just put some hint text in here. Uh, I like this. It's a pretty neat uh, little feature that you can add. It uh, cleans up some things. But uh, you just, when the field gets uh, focus, we'll remove that. Unless somebody enters something, when it get when when the field loses focus or blur, we'll put the original text back in. So, and then if you were to put something in there, it will just stay. So that it, I mean, it, it disappears when we click back on it, but it comes back to what it was. So, uh, let's jump into Dreamweaver here, and I'll show you how we can do this. A uh, couple quick lines of jQuery, and uh, we'll be done. So this is a design view here. You can see I've got my form. We jump over to code view. Nothing special. It's just a form. I use some inline styling to keep this simple. Um, just to kind of make it a little bit cleaner for you guys to look at. Oh, we need to get the jQuery library right here on line 6. Uh, and I'm including it from Google APIs. And then down here before our closing body tag we're going to insert a script tag here and that's where our jQuery is going to go so we we'll go to insert HTML script objects and script just hit OK now we've got our script tag we're ready to put some jQuery in here and I'm just going to paste this code in that I've already written and we're going to talk about it of course we've got uh, jQuery's document.ready function we're going to wait until all the DOM elements have been loaded and then we'll do some stuff here uh, with our jQuery. Well, the first thing we need to do is we've got to be able to select which form elements we want to use this feature on. And uh, typically you'll have uh, the input type and maybe a text area type. Uh, check boxes, radio buttons, this won't work for that. Uh, which doesn't really make sense anyway. But anyhow, we're going to say jQuery, we want the input elements, all of the input elements that are not the input element of the type equals submit. See, the problem with if we don't use the not uh, filter here is that if we did that on all input elements, so we've got this uh, just this text area and then the password and then we have our button but it's also an input type so when the user were to click the submit button it would pull the text out of this value element here and you would just have an empty button so we don't want to do that we want all the other areas except the submit button so that's why we use this not filter with an input type of submit and then a comma and text area so essentially jQuery is going to round up all the input elements and all the text areas within your form and then we use the each method. And within that we use an anonymous function. And what we're going to do here is this we're going to quickly store the original value that's in the, the field. And then uh, when somebody focuses on it, we'll remove that value. And if you see here uh, in the inputs, you see I set the initial values right here with uh, name and then this other one is password even though it's because it's a password type input field it shows up as uh, asterisks or, or dots and then here's where I set the initial value on the text area I just typed it into the text area so anyway back inside of our anonymous function of the, of the each method which will grab each one of these from within your form element we will use a reference to this which in this context will always be whichever um, of these fields is is uh, currently the active field so we'll say this dot focus so whenever the field receives focus or gets clicked into or tabbed into then we'll say 
we're going to have a, a non, another anonymous function and this is where we're going to store our original value so we have our original value which is just a variable and let's type a var in front of that so that's we're declaring a, a variable of original val and it's going to be equal to this dot value which is whatever area we clicked into whatever that uh, area's value was then we're going to say if this area's value is equal to our original value then we're going to clear it we're going to set this uh, field's value to black and that takes care of our uh, on focus function so then we've got our blur function which is if we tab out of it or click out of it and we run an anonymous function inside of this and we say if this the current element that has focus if its value is equal to blank then we want to set its value back to its original value so this dot value and our variable of original value and that's it super simple guys and you can see here we refresh our form and we've got our name field our password and a message and instead of using labels here we've just used uh, hint text what I call hint text and uh, you could you could just set uh, the color on this you know to a real light color so it doesn't stand out quite as much I didn't do any styling here just uh, wanted to show you guys how you can actually do this and so then if we click into the field well oops I broke something here and uh, I know what it was is the uh, we shouldn't have declared our variable of original value uh, inside of our anonymous function so let's fix that real quick here where I said to declare this uh, var original value we just get rid of that and we declare it outside right here we declare it outside of our functions so that everyone has access to it and uh, we'll set its value equal to null just to initialize the uh, a variable and have it ready to be used in here so var original value is equal to null uh, apologize about that guys but anyway we're done there and then this is what we end up with which is when you click or tab into a field it removes our hint text and is ready for input hope you guys like this one stay tuned I got some more coming um, you know comment vote don't forget to subscribe thanks guys